How would I learn Facebook ads if I could start over? In this video, I'm gonna talk about the good things I did and the bad things I did with my Facebook ads journey. And I believe there is a much better way to learn Facebook ads. And also I'm gonna share how I got my very first paying Facebook ads job, how long it took me to turn this job into a freelancing gig. And I'm gonna share the number one skill I use to turn this freelancing business into a social media marketing agency or Facebook ads agency. I think it would be very inspirational for you to share why I got into Facebook ads at the first place because I believe there is a lot you can learn from my story. I live in Sofia, Bulgaria. This is a small country in Eastern Europe right next to Greece. I went to law school, so actually I graduated law university, but when I graduated law university, I knew that I can only practice law in Bulgaria, which is quite limiting for me because I wanted to have more freedom. I wanted to be able to travel the world. I wanted to have location independence. I wanted to have financial independence. It was maybe around 2014, 2015. It was time for me to graduate university. And for the first time in my life, I got introduced to the idea of digital marketing. I actually read this book by Gary Vaynerchuk called Crush It. See, social media marketing is like going Beyonce on your customers. You've got to put a fucking ring on it. And for the first time, I, I was presented to the idea that every business should be on social media. And back then, in 2015, social media was quite new. There weren't many businesses who knew how to use social media. Facebook was at its very beginning. Instagram was at its very beginning. And pretty much nobody knew what was about to happen with social media. So I figured out if I managed to help businesses get clients through Facebook and Instagram, I'll make it big time. And this is why I decided to go into Facebook ads at the first place. And for me, back then I was around 24 years old. It was a big dream because basically I told my friends, I'm quitting law and I'm gonna chase career in digital marketing. And most of my friends, pretty much everybody, they thought I'm crazy, I'm insane. They were like, you studied law for five years, how come are you gonna quit and go into digital marketing? There is no money in digital marketing. Nobody know what's happening. And if I'm telling you this today, it sounds very absurd, but back then that was the reality. And somehow I thought that most of my friends are right. That's why I was like, I'm just gonna prove them wrong. And they told me something that stuck with me. They said that no matter what I do, I won't be able to get a job because I don't have a degree in business or marketing. And I thought about it and they were right. Before I decided to get a job in Facebook ads, I decided to complete a certification program by Google. It was called the Digital Garage by Google or something like that. And I completed it and I got my very first certificate. And this is what I would do if I start over again. I would get a certification program. Right now there is a certification program by Facebook and Meta. I think it's free. So instead of doing the Google one, I would complete the certification program by Google and Meta. And the next thing I do, something else I did also in the past, I would get a job. I know it might sound counterintuitive to you to get a job because there are all, all these gurus telling you, oh, start a business, go into entrepreneurship. But if you wanna learn Facebook ads, getting a job is a smart decision because you will learn on the, um, on the job. You're gonna spend other people money to learn Facebook ads, which is essential to Facebook ads because with Facebook ads, you need hands-on experience. And this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get a nine to five job. But when I applied for my very first Facebook ads job back in the day, I was very insecure about my skills. I didn't know how I'm gonna perform. I didn't know if I'll be good at it. So I remember I started applying for jobs. I was sending CVs. I was going to interviews and I thought getting a job with Facebook ads is way out of my reach. Finally, opportunities started coming my way and I took the very first opportunity. And here I made my very big mistake. Instead of me getting the very first job, I should have waited. I should have went to more interviews and get the best job offer. But I took the very first one in a web development company and I think it paid around three to four hundred dollars per month, which even for, for Bulgaria is considered low. But I was like, I'm gonna take this job. But there is also something else, something I'll do different 
differently. I took a job at a company I didn't understand. So instead of me going into web development, I would go in a niche I understand, a niche I'm passionate about. Because at this job, I had to learn web development, I had to learn basic digital marketing, I had to learn how Facebook ads work. So it was too much on my plate. And because I was overwhelmed with information, my managers didn't actually gave me the opportunity to run Facebook ads. So basically I went to this job and I completed like a basic training, which was very, very bad in my opinion, because I could have gotten a better job. So in order to ensure I got a better job, I would do something else. I would do something I didn't do the first time I applied. And I'm gonna create a portfolio. I'm gonna collect Facebook ads from the niche I'm applying. And I'm just gonna create a document with example Facebook ads, with example Facebook strategies. I would mention how, how I would run the ads because I believe this will give me a competitive advantage to everybody else who is going to the same job interview. Because what I know from my experience, most of the people who go to these job interviews, they go unprepared. So I'm gonna have my digital certification programs. I'm gonna have my portfolio. And I think this will give me a step ahead of the competition. So this is the second mistake I made. I didn't have my portfolio. So when I got my first job, I would work a lot to deliver results, but I'm gonna work my ass off because I believe Facebook ads are very, very important skill. And if you learn Facebook ads, you can start businesses, you can get into freelancing, you can do the digital nomad lifestyle. With Facebook ads, you, you can do it all. So I'm gonna invest a lot of time into getting good because I believe that getting good is worth the effort. And to be honest with you, Facebook ads is not one of these jobs where you can fake it until you make it because you spent real money on ads and you deliver real results. You can check your performance on a day-to-day -day basis. So you cannot kind of like say, ads are not working, the website is not working. At the end of the day, if you're running ads and if there are no conversion, 80% of the time it's your fault. It's very easy for somebody to decide if you're good with Facebook ads or not. You spend the money and you don't make the money, you get fired. You spend the money and you get the money, you keep the job, you get promoted, you get a bunch of clients. So there is a big reward of keeping a Facebook ads job. Something else I didn't do, and I consider this to be the third mistake I made. I waited for way too long to start getting clients on the site and start doing freelancing gigs. As I said earlier in this video, I was so shy and so insecure about my skills. I couldn't promote my services to other people. And back in 2016, 17, 18, Facebook ads are booming. A lot of people wanted to run Facebook ads because they were very different compared to today. It was much easier to deliver results. And if I wanted to get a job or a client, all I needed to do would be to say, hey, I run Facebook ads. And this is all I needed to say. And a bunch of people would start asking me, hey, I, I wanna set up ads, can you help me with ads? And it was just that easy because the market was not saturated at all. If I could start over, I would sell and market myself much, much better. I truly believe in the business of Facebook ads, in the business of digital marketing, it's very important to have a big mouth. Having a big mouth is as important as being good because you cannot make money if you don't sell yourself. No matter how good you are at a skill, if you don't sell your skill, if you don't sell your product, you are not gonna make any money. So those are the three major mistakes, but I also did a lot of mistakes and I created a video about it. The video is called Mistakes Beginners Keep Making. So I'm gonna leave the link somewhere on the screen so you can click it and watch it because I believe this video will save you a lot of trouble with Facebook ads and also a lot of money. So make sure you watch it right now. If you wanna take your Facebook ads to the very next level, I created an online course called the Targeting Academy. The online course is quite recent and I'm gonna show you how I run campaigns that deliver insane results and you can check it out. The link will be in the description below. My name is Nico. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'm gonna talk to you soon.